in Liberia, mm -hmm. you don't have so many places to work. You finish from high school, you just like sit down and look for money to go to college. Because people who have already finished with college don't even have a job. What about me who just finished with high school? I knew you were true, his little brother. I used to come here, help him clean his fingers, clean the dishes. Took me from bad friends. Because I had a whole lot of bad friends. But now, not anymore. It's a respect thing, you know. It became believe that uh, uh, they should offer services to an older person. It's a kind of a default setting, you know, so within our culture. At the age of 10, I lost my mom. Every day, I would be in the street. Some people say I'm looking for what I haven't lost, but I told them I'm looking for things to help me. When I met Sue, I was not working who just finished you know, high school and always used to be in the street gambling. Picking is a sense in Liberia that means that person is your small brother. It's just like a job, but I don't get paid, but it benefits me a lot. Getting food is one. Getting place to sleep is two. So it means a whole lot to me. What I'm learning, I believe in the future I'm going to make money from it. If you are not from our society, you know, I don't have that kind of orientation. You know, once you see this going on, you feel embarrassed. But actually, we don't feel embarrassed because we believe it's like a cultural or traditional internship, you know, something that is built within our system. Kalijong also have a Peking, and Kalijong Peking is era. Aaron does a lot of work for Kali John. Aaron is definitely going to find a picking very soon. <laughs> you become a Peking based on the situation. In the gathering where I'm the Peking and the older guy is speaking, I listen. 
because Peking had to listen, had to learn. When the bigger ones speak, the Peking listen. I learned new things from Zue and so many people were around him. Through that, Peking gets smarter and then they are prepared for future challenges. Once you are patient, once you are respectful, you can be able to succeed in any society. I feel like I'm doing something now, I'm not just sitting. So I just did I have a job now. You saved me from poverty. You saved me from the street. I'm like his bodyguard now. Anywhere he go, I gotta be there. You just got to wake up, put yourself together and focus on what you want in life. No one is going to do it for you. That's the only way you are going to make it in Liberia.